Oh, something might be here. Yes! Woo! Right, so I have been doing a countdown. Three bedding up, two more bedding up left. Another bedding up session done. That is the last time I have to bed up before something happens. And that countdown is about something really, really exciting. My dad, ginger guy, got a mustache, quite recognizable, went to a show, Cheshire show with Ollie Blogs. And when dad goes with Ollie Blogs and things, when I go with Ollie Blogs and things, it normally costs us money in one way or the other. Bedding these pens up, for me, it's never really been an issue. I've always been like, yeah, no bother. We just use a wheelbarrow. There's four bales of sawdust a day, about two and a half in the morning, about one and a half in the afternoon, four bales of sawdust. And it's been going really well, it works for me. My dad just struggles because, I'll show you, full load of sawdust and it's half heavy. You go down and you sprinkle it down. I find it not too bad, but I'm 30, I'm fit, I'm healthy. My dad, when he does cover me when I'm doing other stuff, he struggles. And like I say, he went to the Cheshire show, he saw something that he's wanted for a while. Completely honest, we had it on demo off video and I was very skeptical on the whole thing. But we'll find out what it is and I'll explain why. Need a good strong man on the other side. Going, keep going, keep going. Great. You'll see a crazy orange thing is turned up and a few of you very wide-eyed, clever people would have seen in a couple of videos, this is in the background, because we did have this on demo, didn't we, Anthony? We did. Uh, and this is Anthony, he sells the Flink. You are from... Stanford Agricultural Services. Went to the Plesh for the Cheshire ploughing match just for some, see some people and whatever. you. And when we're walking past Stanford, who sell Case IH as well. That's right. And I saw this sat there and I thought, now that looks a good machine. Yeah. Now that looks substantial. And that's what drew me to it. Good Blackpool colour. Tangerine. Blackpool like our top was. So Thanks very much for the comments. For the video. ginger now with the moustache. <laughs> yeah. It, it suits all, it ticks a lot of boxes. Matches your top lip, doesn't it? But also, because of the way <laughs> it was built and how easy it was to push even on the yeah. stand i thought this is for us show it wasn't for us it was for me yeah we'll show you we'll get you in the we'll get yeah. it in the drive and we'll show you it's just like a rolled up zimmer frame it's like pushing a bram when anthony came i was a bit skeptical because i am very much like i can use a wheelbarrow i can use a shovel i'm fine and i know how much sawdust i use i was pretty much like that dad was like no no it's great so this has three wheels i think the main competitor has two wheels there are other companies that do them this one is a little bit more expensive but the other thing there's so much information with this we tried it and i went to the farmers guardian awards on my table we were chatting to someone and he had the other company to this he was saying oh it does hurt your back when you bend over because i was looking at the cheap one if i'm honest i'm a farmer i'm trying to save the penny dad loved this one and the problem with it the main reason is dad his back because you just struggle with your one holding it where it is well it's the balance and it, it's the sudden jerk if you do it all the time if say you hit a pothole which we have around the yard and you go oh, like that, you pull your back and that's yeah. what puts you back on your knees you want something that's simple strongly built which i think this is and you can lean on it you, you don't actually balance it all you have to do is push it yeah, or yeah. even drive it and it's easy well it says a lot from me it was like no 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 i don't need it don't need it we had it for 10 days and it left and I was like, I lost my left arm. <laughs> so how it worked, Anthony, I'm taking right, over. Yeah. I hope you don't mind. Go for it, Tom. Go it's for it's it. so easy if I can do it. So we go on standby. We let it flash for a little bit. And then it should say battery. There we go. Then we turn it on. And then what the on will do is turn the auger around. So sawdust can stick sometimes. Obviously, it'll be kept in the dry, but it can stick anyway. So it kind of like... Um, it'll agitate it. Yeah, that, that agitates it. You said you can put lime in it we'll if you want. lime as well, yeah. If, you know, mix it all together. We don't put lime, we use our kabaktin anyway. But it does work. And then you just go, click that. And it flicks it right. And then go the other way. Go on, Dad. What's this? So it flicks it right and left. It sounds daft. But it's the little things in life that excite me. I thought, no way this is going to save sawdust. I'm really good at putting sawdust out. This, we use less sawdust with this, probably a bale and a half a day. And that's not including us doing the dry cows as well. And it was quicker by about half. I don't actually timed it. So I timed it yesterday, how long it takes me. We were using the wheelbarrow and shovel. And you were, and you were motoring. And you I was motoring on because we were a little bit late. We were putting some panels in. Video you'll see very, very soon. Yeah, so my opinion was completely changed. I was very, I was quite firm. I'm like, oh, I don't know why I've done this. Um, it is a little bit of money, but we're bedding up about 170 beds in the morning and doing about 130 in the afternoon. So altogether, nearly 300 beds, maybe 270. 270 beds a day and using this, it's so much easier enough. You're going to be using your heifer's pens. Yeah, we've got 50 in there. Instead of using a shovel, we've decided to go for this. Like I say, I was converted. What's this for, Anthony? 
that's for a stand what we have done is make um, a platform on there so you can actually put your bales on there so okay so if so you need it to go back into you can actually put yeah, yeah well, we, it's we, a big capacity i thought yeah. this is a big enough capacity for what we need for us and if you wanted to you could take another bale to your next step. i think if you had this full you could do 200 beds i would think you probably I could, you could do 200 beds no well if you could do another one obviously there's bigger farmers out there for us it, it was fine and i'm put i was amazed at how little you use and the way you control it of how much it will put on obviously you can speed it up so that speeds the bed underneath or just walk a little bit faster <laughs> and when i first saw the machine i thought straight away i said this is going to save time mm, yeah and what you save time you save money and the other thing is save your back but when you're doing a repetitive job why go for a bigger milking parlor why go for bigger machineries because it's saving time and that's the biggest thing on this farm it's time and time. if we get a quicker milking parlor or a low bottle yeah, whatever we're saving. doing if we're saving time and someone's in here on his own you're rusting it anyway yeah, aren't you're you? rushing and that's when you start rushing you make mistakes that's when accidents happen and everything you don't have to rush with this it's just a walk up and a walk down <laughs> set that for your speed away you go it, it, it says a lot <laughs> when anthony has not said anything really <laughs> uh, you know what i would like to try with it save you feeding a special like a fish meal or a very high protein I, yeah. in here now yeah. Yeah. because it sprays it yeah you put it in all the cows you walk up and down and you have a nice even bed of a meal high protein yes i reckon you could do that something with yeah. a meal yeah. Yeah. you want, you want cows to eat up you want yeah. cows put it to under eat your bin yeah, yeah put definitely. it under your bin and just run up and down it saves going along with a bag and it'd be a more even spread yeah and by the time you walked up and down this position shed the way it's designed now you could coat all this with some sweet something really nice great chat about it but we've got to work it so we're going to work it tonight you'll see how it works and we'll see how quick it is i'll chuck a drone up we'll have a fly we'll um see you tomorrow morning or this afternoon depending on how our dives goes because we're looking at do something else god all of these things So probably got about two bags in there. Uh, Luke used it for the first time yesterday for the side shed. I used it last night, but we were doing some concrete in him. I was behind again. Can't fit another bag in here because it'd be mounded and you'd make a mess. But what I want to do is I'm going to chuck my drone up and see how fast I can do it. All I've got to do is go up, down. I'm going to do the dry cows up down there. I think last time it took me nine minutes, 43 seconds to do just a shed. Not the dry cows as well. Like I say, sometimes it's the smallest things that make you excited. It's hard to get your head around it until you've used it, I think. I was very much a naysayer, but now I'm changed. Girl, I'm about to have a panic attack. I did the work, it didn't work. That truth, it hurts. That damn, it hurts. That lovey-dovey shit was not a fan of it. I'm good with my friends. I don't want a man, girl. Four minutes, 56. I've done the dry cows, and I had to move the drone from there to there. So I reckon this whole shed you could do in about three minutes. Genuinely, tonight, I reckon three minutes would take me to do that. Also, some sawdust left. Need less than two bags, definitely. Got some sawdust left, and I've saved probably, but let's say six and a half minutes, just a dream and my dad really likes it as well so when he's got to cover it that's his worst job his worst job is uh bedding up just because of the way the shovel handles so if his worst job at the bottom becomes like his favorite job maybe i don't know um another job becomes worse so all the jobs become better if that makes sense the whole job itself becomes a lot better it's like if you got your worst yielding cow to be your best yielding cow the whole herd jump up if that makes sense. The only thing I have noticed is I need to get a little bit closer to the beds or I need to fire it a little bit more. Might be where the wind's getting it or whatever because I've got a little bit on the ground. And the minute it touches the ground, that's wasted money. Dad's Zimmer frame. And I think I think actually when you look at it, this right hand tire could do with a bit more proof in it. Right, power on. Power on. You've set it to speed. Yeah, speed should be right. On. I can lean like that. I can put it in my belly. Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh! Thank you, Blair. How's your back feel, Dad? Good. He's used to it by pushing prams with his grandchildren. Not mine, my sister's. You could put some lime in it. I don't think it makes it very well, to be honest. Look at that. It works better on a hot, taller heel stone. Beautifully bedded up. 
And if it does go a little bit further back, they can drag it in. But the most important bit to bed any cows up is where the bag's gonna lie, so the back end. So you wanna get it perfect, you don't wanna waste a lot of sawdust. And you'll see dad there, wasted no sawdust. It's very cold this morning, it's like three, four degrees this morning. A bit fresh, which is quite nice actually. Dry and fresh. Turn her off. Well, so that's how she spins around. You're off, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So it has like an extension here, so that whips around and just kind of notches orders. So it can uh, wall up. Bridge on the wall. Bridge, that's bridge. the one. Bridge is what you I mean, the hardest thing is actually putting the sawdust in. <laughs> the walk of the shovel, you're up and down, up and down. It's double the time. The ease and also the evenness of spread. Yeah, yeah, it's good. A shovel is dependent on the shovel driver. I think we've got the speed right now yeah. and we've got how much it opens you can open and yeah. shut it and put like more on i think with the first day with the drone i was spraying a lot of sawdust yeah. obviously the wind's going to affect it as well but we've got it i think we've got it right haven't we yeah it's like everything little and often better you know, we're doing it twice a day so you know little and often yeah when we look at putting the solars on because it's something we are definitely looking at yeah. very strongly you can charge it off the solar and then technically you're charging it for free as well so well you got to buy the solar first but you know what i'm talking about we'll just blow the tire up because it does frustrate me when it Wibbly wobbly. Yeah. Wibbly wobbly. Food for the pudding is when this is part there and the barrow's part there, if the barrow was easier, people would be going to the barrow. <laughs> and I don't I've not seen anyone jump to the barrow for a week. <laughs> no. And you should do really because of the amount of money you are spending on this and that that hurt me. Hurt me to spend the money. But it's definitely worthwhile hope you enjoyed today's video if you've got one of these bedders and you've changed as well put it in the comment section quite interesting to see how many people have made the change how many people were stubborn like me it was like nope don't need it don't need it nearly finished we are nearly finished we're like this close but yeah super cool guys hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to youtube channel oh and the airline's here because uh the feeder track is tired keeps going a bit soft don't blow it up though go bang we'll push that even easier yeah you won't be pushing it forward you'll be holding it back Holding it back. Racing machine now. Racing machine.